So this was a comment that was left on Jeff's video in regards to lactated ringers. Um, and basically they're wondering why does a high chloride concentration in the blood lead to an acidosis? Um, so when we volume resuscitate people with things like normal saline that have a high amount of chloride within them, it can lead to a secondary metabolic acidosis, particularly a normal anion gap metabolic acidosis. And there are multiple different causes to this that can be um, related to chloride itself. Um, common causes of hyperchloremic metabolic acidosis include things like GI uh, disorders like diarrhea where you lose a lot of bicarb. It can result from things like renal disorders. But in this case, this is an exogenous cause due to fluid resuscitation with normal saline that has high chloride amounts. Now, chloride is an anion. Bicarb is an anion. And in the blood, when they're next to each other, this causes a shift in the neutrality between anions and cations in the blood. And the body is going to try to fix that. One of the ways that it does this is by shifting bicarb intracellularly to try to balance out those charges. Remember, we have two negatives now, and those negatives are going to try to get away from each other. So it's going to shift bicarb intracellularly, which is therefore going to decrease the amount of base in the blood, which will then lower the pH and you get more acidotic. In addition, high levels of chloride also impair the kidney's ability to excrete acids. So it's kind of a twofold mechanism in that you're shifting bicarb into cells and then you're having a decreased ability to get rid of acids in the kidneys all due to this high amounts of chloride. I hope this helps answer your question. Let us know if you have any more. We love that you love our videos, so much so that we've actually created some shock illustrated notes for you and you can download these for free in a link on our bio.